Hi, I'm Colby King from 330 Ministries, and I am going to show you what is often called a tapered deck or a wizard deck. Now, the way this works is real simple. You're simply going to have a volunteer come up, and they're going to choose a card from the deck. Now, it doesn't matter which card they choose. And so, let's just say, let's say they choose the three of hearts, okay? Now, they're going to pull that three of cards out of your deck, and while they're looking at it, or showing it to the people behind you, or while your head's turned, because you don't want to know what it is, you're going to flip that deck right there. Now, they're not going to see that because it's as subtle as what I just did right there. Sometimes you can even tap it a little bit and you're going to flip that deck over. So when they take that card and they put it back in, just have them put it back in wherever they want to put it back in. And so they're going to slide that card back in. Now, you and I know that it's the three of hearts, okay? But in the illusion, they would know that, but I wouldn't. And then you're going to take the deck and you're going to put it behind your back like this right here. And as you're talking to them, or you can be like, okay, now I'm going to find that card card, all right, and you're looking and kind of pretend like, well, I can't find it, okay, oh, hold on a second, you know, something's not right here, and maybe even kind of thumb through the deck, and well, you know, I don't know what happened there, maybe even hand it to them, let them look at it, now, what you and I know, well, I'm getting ready to tell you is, I've already pulled that card out, see, right now, that card, the three of hearts, is in my back pocket right now, and so a lot of times, I'll hand them the card deck, and they're going to be thumbing through, and while they're thumbing through the card deck, what you can do, you can take that card. If you're wearing glasses, you can just stick it right there. Or uh, I've seen some people, they lick the card and they'll just stick it right to their forehead. And they'll just stand there and that person's just thumbing through. And people around them start to laugh. And they can't figure out why people are laughing, you know, because their card is stuck to your forehead. And finally, you're like, well, maybe I can help you. Just, I tell you what, give me the deck right there. And maybe you start thumbing. Eventually, they're going to look and they're going to see that three of hearts stuck to your forehead. Now, you say, what? Well, now, how did that work? Well, it's simply this. A paper deck is cut. One end of the cards is a little bit larger than the other end. So the king of clubs, for instance, if I take that card and I flip it around like that right there, okay, when I put it behind my back, I'm going to pull those cards together, and then I'm simply going to slide my finger, and look, there it came right there. Why? Because, remember, one end is bigger than the other end, and so I can feel it. So it's as simple as me just simply pulling. You can even do it right in front of people. I like doing it behind my back. That way they're less you know, likely to figure it out, but you can, and I have done it right in front of people, where you know, I'll just take the deck and just just kind of, you know, bend it a little bit and say, you know, uh, we're going to find your card here in just a second, and you're talking, you want to distract them, you know, just enough to where then you pull it out, and they're like, how in the world did you do that? Because you did it so quickly after some movement that gave them a little distraction, and then there it is right there. So lots of ways that you can use this deck. Um, I will say, if you drop it and the cards get all messed up, it will take a little bit of time for you to sit down because you have to keep stacking them and pull your fingers and then cut them and keep stacking and pulling your fingers until you make sure that it's all smooth. You know, the, all the long end is on one side because you can't see it visually. It's just by feel right there. And so, um, uh, but there's other illusions you can do with this deck as well. That's my favorite and I wanted to share it with you. Lots of ways that you can use it uh, to share the gospel as well as far as, um, you know, when you're dealing with things that people don't know. You know, people have questions. Why do bad things happen to good people? Why, uh, why is, does this happen? Why does that happen when you're answering questions? It's a great way to say, you know, that there, I know how to do this. I have the answer. In life, you won't always have the answer. But you don't have to have the answers to trust God. You may not know why this happened. You may not understand why God allowed something. But you don't have to understand it to know who God is and to keep trusting who He is. A bunch of other illusions as well. 1 Peter 5, 8, you know, as far as don't be deceived, be alert, be on your guard, okay? Your enemy, the devil, goes about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Don't get tricked. Hey, this, you were sitting there, everybody was laughing because it was stuck to my forehead. You know why? Because I tricked you. I tricked you. You can also tie it in to the idea of... Uh, you know, the reason I know how to do this is because somebody told me. That, that's, I, knew the, I know the answer. Because somebody told me. You know how I know Jesus? Because somebody told me. You know, Romans 10, 13 says, Whoever calls in the name of the Lord will be saved. But how will they call on Him whom they haven't believed? 
how can they believe on him whom they haven't heard? How can they hear unless somebody tells them? So lots of ways that you can use this illusion to share the gospel. You, it's a great introductory, uh, a springboard. Do an illusion like this. A lot of times um, you can combine this with another illusion really to make a great introduction that leads you right into your biblical point. So I hope you have fun with it. May God bless you. May God use you as you use tools like this to visually share his word.